People ask me all the time, what's the difference between polyfuse and other decorating technologies? And I would say for polyethylene and polypropylene, the short answer would be it actually works. Um, we're not sticking to the surface of any plastic. As people are well aware, nothing wants to stick to those materials long term. And we don't stick to it either. Literally, the graphic is a piece of plastic. It's a thin layer of plastic. We put it in contact with the plastic part and then we're fusing them together with heat. And literally, you do a cross section, look at it under a microscope, it's one piece of plastic pigmented two different ways. And we talked about polyethylene and polypropylene, but this is gonna work for the entire polyolefin family of plastics. Even some of the um, additives that are put into it, like glass-filled polypropylene or talc-filled polypropylene, but it also includes like TPR, TPB, TPOs, TPE, SCBS. Again, those are all olefin-based materials. Even though they're flexible, we still have a good solution for it. Um, we also have a solution for flexible PVC. And in this particular case, the graphic material literally is going to be PVC ma compatible material to be fused together with the PVC part. So it's the same principle and it's not adhesive based. We're literally fusing those two materials together with heat. So again, more similar to plastic welding than any of the decorating technologies that are out there. Again, I, we want to be able to help people with decorating these types of materials. You know, from the quoting stage all the way through to implementing it in, into production, um, we're here to help. And so I encourage people to reach out to us if they have any more questions or they want more information.